absolutely critical and, and rapid diagnostic tests to allow you to do that uh, have, have really improved over the last two or three months. And Esther, once you've confirmed that someone does have Ebola, what treatment were you able to give them then? From anyone that came to suspected probable, always I was given um, anti-malignant. We started on uh, oral antibiotics, painkillers. We used uh, paracetamol, and sometimes we went as far as we giving them morphine depending on the symptoms. Some patients also had uh, we we give IV fluids. We also give uh, antiemetics. Sometimes we, we give them something to sleep to calm down, especially if they were agitated. So it really depends on case to case. Uh, as a clinician, when you see the patients, when you decide what's best for them, because some, some were doing very well on the basics, the paracetamol and the antimonials and the oral antibiotics, and some needed to go a bit further in terms of high fluids and morphine. Now, Jeremy, I know it varies from area to area, but how would you assess the current provision of, of care for infected patients? Well, again, I think that has improved dramatically, um, so that the number of uh, people now surviving has increased. In many of the places that I was at in the last week, 70% uh, of people are surviving when they come in. That's improved dramatically in the last two or three months. And it, it is amazing what can be achieved with, uh, as Esther's just described, with, with, with good fluids, intravenous fluids, um, controlling the, the diarrhea and the vomiting, uh, and making sure that people's blood is not uh, uh, infecting others. So, so the treatment has really improved over us, and I think that's absolutely critical because. because